So I'm not gonna lie. What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the title, today we're gonna be reacting to three true TikTok horror stories. If at any point you guys do go to enjoy today's video, slap a like on it. Really quickly wanted to say that all of these are based on true stories. Obviously, things have been changed due to the fact that they don't want people to know who it was actually about, but the stories are real. Shit's probably gonna get pretty crazy. So if you enjoy the video, slap a like and push the algorithm. All right, let's hop into this. All right, man, let's see what's cracking. You guys know me. I'm TikTok Chris. Let's see what's cracking. What the hell was that? It's like a fucking person walking by. Really uh, they, it was back. a person walking by. My apartment's getting darker. I need to turn on all the lights. Like I'm, the, uh, I'm scared. I'm not this skilled to just put a random looking Bro. being really fast behind me. Well, get out of the house. And I have guns. So if you're in here, I have guns. You know, I have loved to dance since I was a little girl. Okay. In fact, <laughs> my mother used to tell everyone how much she had fun seeing I spent a lot of the day dancing and in. a while ago, months after I moved in with my boyfriend, I was fired from my work. Oh, that's so sad. I was going through a difficult time L job, L job. when a new social network, TikTok, began to go viral. TikTok, yes Soon, sir. I realized a very important part of the content people uploaded dances yep to clear my mind i decided to have fun by publishing Damn, dances she's crazy on TikTok. what i hadn't expected was the result my posts had many visualizations and comments soon i started winning followers and there you go 100k well known it's a good feeling network all that became part of my day to day in fact i took on the goal of publishing at least four times a week that's pretty good that day, a Thursday, was one of the moments when I always recorded my dances. From time to time, I liked to read the comments. <laughs> so at nighttime, after... Pu if you ever do social media, most of the time, the comments are something absolutely outrageous that nobody would ever say to you. They would just say it in the comments because it's like behind the safety of their computer. Most of the time, people say some crazy shit. Posting, just, I began just to saying. do it. That was when I noticed Just something saying. strange. What? Are you still trying to scare us? I wasn't able to understand it scare at first, you so I continued reading. Sorry, I had to Should I be up. scared? It makes me laugh. I mean, it's very obvious. What's what very obvious? Mean? Very she obvious. only does it for the views. I can't believe she fell so low. That comment had several answers. What does that even mean? I decided to read. What do you mean? Yeah. Look at the window. Oh, Those hell no, bro. words bruh. gave me a bad feeling, which was due to a simple reason. I hadn't put anything in the window. Nervous, I watched Your my first floor, my guy? carefully. Oh, shit. Everything seemed normal. Until there's like a I face. I even began to think that these comments were a simple it's about to get joke. Crazy, bro. Until, suddenly, Bam. by a small space between the curtains, a woman's face appeared. My heart began to beat quickly. I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty scary though. It's not a bad idea. I, I do something like that. I immediately checked my other posts. It seemed that she was only there on Thursdays. Huh. I was beginning to hyperventilate when the door of the room opened, which scared me. Lewis, my boyfriend, oh, it's boyfriend. had okay. just arrived from work. Okay. Hi, babe. W when mans, he saw W me, mans. The smile erased from his face. Oh, babe? Are you, are you okay? No, she's I, not. I don't know. She's being stalked what by happened? a psycho old lady. He approached to sit next to me on the couch. I was checking the comments and... Did they tell you something bad? You don't listen to them, babe. You're the best. Besides... It's not that. There's a woman. A woman? Where? At first, I thought it was a joke, but... uh, Every Thursday, a woman appears in my TikTok, watching me through the window. That's so... What? Look! I so weird, bro. my cell phone. Keep looking at the window. When an expression of concern Bam. and anger formed on his face, I knew he had seen her. Does he know who Obviously, that is? Obviously, I didn't ask her to do that. Does I he don't know even who that know is? her. What are we going to do, Lewis? Bro, what if that's Lewis's side piece and she's just seen if you're home? Someone is harassing me. Maybe he's me. piping the old I'm lady. I'm terrified. He grabbed one of my hands never know. to capture my attention. You never know, man. Everything will be fine, babe. Yeah, babe. We will increase security. I'll put cameras, okay? We will identify her. Okay. In the next few days, Lewis changed the locks Smart. and put cameras outside the house, but it didn't make me feel any better. 
The paranoia had flooded me. Bro, one what if what if she's inside? I took a screen capture of one of my videos at the moment she could be seen. I started to sweat as soon as I watched her more closely. It's got to be like a demon or Even something, bro. Even if the bro. image quality was not too good, her eyes and the sick smile she had on her face made me very yeah, nervous. I'm getting scared myself. By the time the week passed and it was Thursday again, I felt terrible. Look I was like not shit. sleeping well <laughs> and I was shit, so bro. scared that I had nausea. My love, I'd really like to stay today so I can take care of you. I appreciate it, honey, but you can't miss work for this. <sighs> I... Is he working and she's TikToking? I don't like w the idea man, of you man. being alone here. What, what if you invite someone? And they're working. <sighs> okay. Well, call me if something happens. Of course. As soon as he left, I locked all the doors and windows of the house. Then I went to my room and laid down in bed. I tried to distract myself, but yeah. But how do you distract possible. yourself in that position? I could only think about that woman. Yeah, dude, she's the hella that creepy. Lewis had placed had an application, hella so I creepy, could see bro. them directly from my cell phone. Imagine she just walks Without up. Without being able to avoid What's it, up? I started watching them. But time passed and nobody appeared. Hmm. At some point, I fell asleep. I was woken up by a distant oh, sound. Hell no, bro. I was so sleepy that I didn't react until a few seconds after listening to it. Mm, huh? I got up from the bed and went to the door. I saw the door is the, the window. Sound, oh, it is. Which seemed like some kind of bang was constant. It's the old lady, dude. Nervous, I grabbed my cell phone and looked at the cameras. My breath caught. It's her. It was that woman hitting the window with her right fist. Told you. Even Bro, though she's I was crusted. I took a deep breath. <laughs> she is and crusted. Lewis. Lewis is about to come here and she hit her with a probably up. just a hater who wanted to annoy me. But well, how would she know where you live? And go easily. So, while I dialed the emergency number on my cell phone, I left the bedroom and walked to the living room window. Why would you do that? I could see the woman through a small gap between the curtains. She stopped when she realized I was there. Sky! Up close, I could tell that her appearance was strange. IRL stalker trying to pretty much kill you. She looked Weird. as if she hadn't slept in weeks. Weird. She was skinny and had a fake smile that made me shiver. Yeah, bro. I showed her my She's cell phone. Rusted, dog. Go away, She's or I'll rusted. call the police. Really? Will you? My hand trembled. Bro. Why did it seem like she didn't care? I would have went out there and hit I, her with a knuckle I'm sandwich. I'm not kidding. I know what you've been doing. I have cameras. I'll call the police. The smile faded from the woman's face. She don't face. care. She stared at me blankly. Damn. Go. She's testing her gangster, bro. <laughs> I flinched. What was she laughing bro, about? people are weird. I don't give a shit. Suddenly, she took a hammer out of one of her pants. Oh my gosh, she's about to break the window. And broke the window. I had to react quickly. I covered my face and fell to the ground. When I saw her again, she was in front of me. You're so beautiful. Oh my god. Where's the boyfriend? And thin. You're perfect. I've tried to be like you, but I can't. Don't you think about how others might feel? You're selfish. You rub it in our face, how per- Listen. It ain't nobody's fault you're ugly, bruh. <laughs> it's nobody's fault. It's not even your fault, to be fair. It's not your fault that you're ugly. It's just, it happens. You can't fix ugly. Like, you can't. You can fix a lot of other things, but fixing ugly is expensive. So, unless you got the money, I mean, tch, better have a good personality, bro. Perfect, you all are. I'm saying. I, I don't, I want to be like you. Well, you can't be. From you can't be me. Of her pants I'm pockets. me. She pulled out a blade. Oh, so shh. you'll have to give me your face. <laughs> she about to try to cut her don't, face off? Don't come any closer. As she continued, Boyfriend's about I to come out of react. nowhere. I couldn't even move. When I closed my eyes, I felt a sharp pain on my chin. And then, I started to hear a siren. Sky, 
Bro! That sick woman was arrested when she was found like that. Bruh, if I was the boyfriend, I don't even care if she was arrested. I would have walked up to her and I would have hit her with a knuckle five sandwich, bro. Right, right there. Inside Done. my house. Drop the bitch. Me. Drop her. I couldn't keep living there, so we moved to a remote area. I would have dropped her. Still, I have never felt safe again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's just weird. The whole filter I've grabbing. I've always been a very exceptional person, but okay. that doesn't mean I don't like horror. I do. My boyfriend and I spent every night watching paranormal videos. Good but videos. While he was watching ghosts moving objects, I was watching threads and YouTubers desperate for attention. The a little more dark web passed, and stuff. The more I became convinced that the paranormal didn't exist, but sometimes. Things happen to us that are so strong that we can no longer turn our backs on the truth. Like what? It all happened one Sunday night. That day, I invited some friends to play Ouija, hoping to find a ghost or don't ever, at least... Don't ever do that. Don't be an L friend. I've actually played with one before. If you guys want me to drop that story, comment down below. Shit is scary, bro. Just have a few For laughs. For real, scary. The game was progressing normally until I had the idea to let go of my friend's hands and take out so my cell dumb. phone to try ghost detector. You're never supposed to take your fingers TikTok off. Filter to see ghosts. What the hell are you doing, Gina? You can't leave during a ghost session. Are you crazy? Hey, hey, calm down. I just wanted to get my cell phone out. So give me your hand. Use your I'll other do it hand. Later. No, you can't go back. You already quit the game. Ugh, whatever. While they were still playing, I took out my cell phone and applied the filter. But what I expected happened. The TikTok filter didn't catch anything. My friends told me that since I left the circle, the ghost stopped playing with us. But I just laughed and yeah, good ignored job. them. A whole day went by and I had already forgotten about the night before. I had just come back from work and I went back to my apartment very tired. You never play with that I stuff. I was ready to throw myself on the bed. But in the darkness, I saw a black silhouette sitting on the bed. It never nice left. Try, babe, but the door lock isn't forced and I'm on the ninth floor. I didn't panic right away. It never I left. I was convinced that man was Dario, my nope. boyfriend. It ain't Dario. He likes to play pranks on me like that. And they never work out well. It's I turned not a funny on the joke. light, laughing. <laughs> But my smile was instantly erased and changed to a face of confusion. I got the chills, bro. There was absolutely nothing there. Yeah, what? of course, it's a ghost, bro. I'm sure I saw someone. As if in response to my comment, the light turned itself off and the shadow reappeared. Nope. Only now, it was standing still. Hell no, bro. Facing I got... my direction. Bro. I... I'm not going to be able to see, bro. Ain't going to be able to see. I got goosebumps, man. Goosebumps. Began to breathe heavily and press the switch again and again in vain. Well, it's clearly not going to work. The shadow didn't move closer or farther away. It just stood there. But I felt that with every second that passed, I was closer to something terrible happening to me. That's terrifying, dude. Suddenly, the light came on and the shadow disappeared again. As it normally would. Why is she screaming like that? For fuck's sake, Dario! Oh, it scared Hi. her. Hey, babe. I just wanted to check that you got home. Oh, do you still want to call me from the computer and watch a movie while you eat? Dario, I need to go to your house. Now. Yeah, of course. What, what happened to you? Nothing. I'm fine. I'll be at your house in 20. I ran to his house. Fair. It was already dark, but for some reason, I felt safer running in the street than in my own house. When I met him, I explained everything. He didn't seem to believe me, but we spent the night together at his house. Well, good and for, we didn't good for talk you. talk about it anymore. Good for you. The next day, I didn't have to work, so I decided that I was going to go back to my house when he went to work. Are you sure about this, babe? You can stay with me for as many nights as you want. If not, I can come with you. No, I want to go back alone. Sooner or later, you'll have to leave, and I can't let that fear get the better of me. 
But if there's something there... There's nothing there. I just got scared because of last night, and my head did the rest. Well, yesterday, you seemed very convinced. Do you think there are ghosts? I do. I don't you never know. left the game I'm, right. I'm you not just, as skeptical it, as you are, and you, you just, know that. You're not relax, supposed to do that. Babe. I'll be fine. Yeah, I just have to be yeah, in a babe. different mindset. Just relax, babe. When Dario left, I walked him to work and went back to my house. Part of me expected to find furniture destroyed, chairs flying, and a ghost waiting for me. But when I turned on the light, everything was just as I left it. I turned the light on and off, but nothing was there. So I relaxed and let the day go by. Till I threw myself into bed, very sleepy, and started watching TikTok videos to pass the time. After a while, I closed my eyes but when I opened them again, something was wrong. My body stopped working. No oh, matter how hard no. I tried, I couldn't move. Bro, sleep paralysis, bro. As I tried oh, to regain no, control dog. of my body, I saw a shadow. It's sleep paralysis. Slowly approaching me. Sleep paralysis. Its steps. It were happens slow all the time. And intimidating. I made a death. It happened to me a lot when I was a kid effort to move but nothing worked no nope, I was good. at the mercy of the shadow suddenly a loud noise sounded and the shadow pointed its face toward it it was my cell phone which was on top of me with the tick-tock screen glowing uh, suddenly I woke up from the worst sleep paralysis I had yep. ever had in my life yep fuck fuck I haven't had sleep paralysis for 10 fucking years why does it have to come back right now yep looking at the cell phone TikTok was open at that moment I guessed that a loud video had played and had just snapped me out of my sleep good paralysis. for you you're lucky I took a deep breath trying to calm down and grabbed my cell phone to continue watching TikTok until suddenly a terrible idea occurred to me. Don't do it, man. I was sure that everything that was happening Don't was a product it, of my man. imagination, and I needed to check it out. Don't do it, dog. I went to the TikTok option to make videos Don't and do searched it. for the ghost detector filter. Stupid. When the filter was applied, the camera was still pointed at my bed, so I pulled it up. As I looked at the cell phone screen, I couldn't believe my eyes. The filter had covered the whole house with human figures. There were at least 20 figures. With my hand shaking, I closed It's because she must have opened the portal when she was again. playing the game. This had to be a mistake. It couldn't be real. That's when she was playing the I game. I opened the application and looked at the screen again. Ah! As if my scream had uh. awakened something in the house, the lights went out from one second to the next. She's done for, I wanted bro. to get up and run, but something grabbed me by the hair and started dragging me all over the house. Ragdolled her, bro. All the walls. I managed to stand up and run to the door, and as I opened it, I felt a stabbing pain violently running down my back. I opened the door and ran desperately toward Dario's house. I entered, terrified. I still had his keys in my pocket. I cried disconsolately on my way to the bathroom to see what was causing so much pain in my back. When I looked at my back in the mirror, I discovered a huge scratch that was tearing my shirt and running down my back. Holy when shit! When Dario came home from work, I told him everything. And when he saw that huge, inhuman scratch, he believed me. I never set foot in that house again. Bro. Dario went with his friends during the day to pick up my things. They all still tell me how scared they were, as they felt an intense cold and a horrible aura surrounding that one-room apartment. Since I moved in with Dario, everything has been great. It's been several weeks now, and I haven't had any encounters with those shadows. Today, I can say that I don't feel haunted anymore, and I can finally live happily. Bro, it's because she opened the portal by playing with the fucking Ouija board and wonders why there's a bunch of spirits in the house, bro. You just don't mess with that stuff. You could talk about it, all that other stuff. You just don't do that stuff. It just, it's dumb.
My opinion. I'm not fond of social media platforms, okay. but when my friend Nathan showed me this TikTok account, I got really okay. creeped out. Nathan. It was a lazy Wednesday afternoon, and we were standing in the school corridor, making plans for a party over the weekend. Lit, lit. My friends were busy chatting when Nathan pulled me aside. His face was all excited. Dude, you have got to see this. He played a TikTok video, and the screen flashed with a pair of bare feet hanging upside down nice. from the ceiling. It took me a second to realize there was something wrong with them. Whoa, Wait, who is that? And, and why are the feet so pale? That's dead? a mannequin. Oh, why is it chained upside down? Shh, just, just watch. Whoever was recording it slowly tilted the camera upside down and the entire mannequin got revealed. It had a partially melted face, as so if someone weird. had blowtorched them. It was dressed like an IT employee, a white full sleeve shirt paired with khaki trousers, hmm. but they were filled with big blood stains. And suddenly, the screen turned black and the video ended. What kind of sick content is this? True. I found this account last night while surfing through random videos. Nice. No one knows who's behind these videos. But I'm telling you, dude, this is some freaky shit. Yeah. Tell me the name of this account. It's Spite2022. Don't watch these videos before you go to sleep. <laughs> Nathan walked away, and the nightmare began. Within the next few Everybody's days, the entire it. school started talking about this crazy TikToker named Spite. That's how it goes, bro. All of his videos showed mutilated mannequins dressed like human beings. That's so weird. Blood smeared on their body. This one particular video I hate gave mannequins, me chills. Bro. Like all mannequins and any of that stuff that's like animatronics, dude, I hate it. All his other videos, this also featured it. a mannequin, dressed like a teenage girl tied to a chair, hmm. placed in a dark room. A medium-sized bucket can be seen hanging right over her head, and someone pulls the string, making the bucket empty its contents over the mannequin. That's so weird. Some kind of animal blood mixed with animal remains, like tripes and intestines, covered the mannequin. Jesus. It was horrible to watch. While many commented, Gross, what the hell is wrong with you? Are you sick? Yeah, it's just weird. And things like that. There were also some people who expressed their That's enjoyment awesome, watching man. these sick videos. There was this one comment where some user said how much fun it will be to watch a mannequin melt in a tub of acid. Three days later, Spite2022 posted a video where a mannequin of a little boy was shown melting in a drum of acid. So weird. People started talking about how Spite reads the comments with great attention. It was terrifying to see how people made special demands on his TikTok videos. It's like a red room or Chop something, Chop it into dude. pieces and then soak it into the blood. Burn them all. Rip its clothes off and beat it with a hammer. I was wow. pretty disturbed after seeing these comments, and kids in my school just wouldn't stop talking about Spite. Some said he escaped from an asylum. Some said he's practicing being a serial killer. And some said he's just doing it for the views. Probably. Probably As if the his third name one. wasn't enough to describe him. I came home that day and took a long shower. I live with my dad, but being the county sheriff, he's pretty much busy all the time. Fair he enough. comes home just before dinner, and those are the few hours I get to spend with him, talking about life and everything. Fair enough. So, this one Thursday night, he brought takeout on his way home, and we sat down to eat while watching a football game. What'd you get? I was kind of messing with my food, just circling the spoon on the plate and barely eating, when my dad asked, Is everything alright, Bobby? Um, yeah, yes. Cap. You know, you can tell me anything. We both stared at each other for a few seconds, and then I finally said it. Uh, there's this guy on TikTok everyone is talking about. What's up with him? He's a sick dude. He's posting uh, torture videos all day. What? Torture videos? How come no one reported that? Well, because he isn't torturing humans. Well, in that case, they should go to the animal rights department. It's equally wrong to- No, Dad! He isn't torturing any living He's thing. He's torturing mannequins, Dad. Sorry, I, I'm not getting it. He tortures mannequins and posts videos on TikTok. Mannequins? That's weird. No law in the world can convict someone for torturing mannequins. Yeah, of course. So it's, just, conversation with it's just super weird. It's like something that normal people don't do. My dad about spite ended there that night. But even though I told him, I still couldn't sleep. I woke up late and had to leave in a hurry. 
It was the last day of school before the holiday, okay, and everyone fine. was busy applying for summer internships. I was planning to do the same when I realized I left my documents at home. Oh no. I told Nathan to go on with his application, and I went back to get the documents. It was two in the afternoon when I reached home. As I went to unlock the main door with my key, I found it Mannequin. open already. Getting in, oh, no. a cold shiver ran down my spine. Oh no. I could smell something burning inside the house. Thinking there had been a fire hazard, I quickly went in the direction from which the smell was no. coming. It was the basement. I could hear dad's, soothing music down there, dude, the accompanied dad's by dead, that burning bro. smell. As I tiptoed and peeked in, my stomach dropped. Three half-burnt mannequins were lying on the floor. Someone set them on fire and then poured water on top of them to put the fire out. Is it his dad? The smell of burnt plastic choked my nostrils. Bro, you're telling me it's his dad? That's crazy. The camera was set up on the corner to record this, and that's when the ground beneath my feet swept away. My dad came out from the dark corner. It's his dad. He had a gas mask that looked unbelievable with his sheriff outfit. The shock was so intense that's that I called out. Crazy, Dad. He suddenly realized that I was there too, and he froze. He took off the gas mask with trembling hands and said, "Bobby, uh, what?" What, what 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 are you doing here? So, Spite 2022 is none other than my father? Look, Bobby, I can explain this. Listen, it's weird. It's super weird. But he ain't breaking no laws, man. He ain't breaking no laws. Okay. Explain what? That you're a sick psycho? It's not like I'm torturing living human beings. Yeah, but you want Stop to. Stop judging me, okay? We all have dark desires. There are numerous creeps out there who are way more dangerous than me. What do you get from all this? Yeah, this is weird. Give me one good reason behind this insanity! I can give you two, okay. son. We need money for your college, and the sheriff's job doesn't pay well in this small town. I just earned a hundred thousand followers in just one week, Bobby! Please, please let it be our secret, okay? Make a little bread. What's the second reason? The insanity stops me from hurting someone alive. His eyes widened and his face changed. He looked scary and deranged at he the same like time. He looks like a nut job, bro. I fumbled, saying, So, so, you do want to hurt people? He ran to me at full speed and grabbed my t-shirt. It's about to hurt you, it Bobby. so quickly that I couldn't do anything. He came close to me, looked me in the eye, and grinned. That's... This is why I'm asking to keep this a secret. So that I don't hurt anyone. Also, it's easy money. <laughs> don't you want to get out of this town, Bobby? This guy's like yes. losing his mind. Yes, uh, yeah, I do. That's my boy. Now leave. I have to clean this mess. I'll see you at dinner. <laughs> uh, okay. I slowly turned around to walk away from all this, when my dad asked again. You're not gonna tell anyone that I'm spite, right, Bobby? I... I won't, I swear. Yeah, you better swear. Hey, hey, you don't have to be scared of me. I'm not gonna hurt you or anyone. I promise. <laughs> Bro. Silly boy. Weird. Since then, four months have gone by. The rumors are still very much alive, and I just refrain myself whenever someone brings up Spite 2022. All I want is to leave this town and my psycho dad once I graduate. Till then, I'll pretend like I know nothing. I sleep with a knife under my pillow these I days, would. just in case. Absolutely. If you ever come to Nashville and land in this small town called Leaper's Folk, never ring the doorbell of the house located near the paddy fields especially not in the afternoons that's when my dad makes his tiktok videos though he promised he won't hurt anyone i can't guarantee it bruh listen that was so weird Your dad is destroying and killing mannequins super weird like 
super weird. Another thing, I left subtitles on for this video. Comment down below if that was okay. If not, I'll turn them off for the next video. But I really quickly just want to say thank you guys so much for all the recent support. It truly does mean the world to me. Comment down below what else you guys want to see on the channel because this is going to do it for me today. As I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, slap a like on it. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps push the algorithm and helps your boy grow. With all of that being said, guys, my name is Chris. And of course, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.